Are the robots going to replace humans as teachers? A school in Finland is experimenting with humanoid robots who will teach language, math and other subjects to students. Now, Elias, a robot, is new language teacher in a school in southern Finland who never makes a pupil feel uh, embarrassed for asking a question and can even do the Gangnam style dance. Uh, Elias is currently being a child in a year-long pilot program at, alongside a math teaching robot at a primary school in Finland's third largest city of Tempe. The robot is able to understand and speak 23 languages and is equipped with uh, software that makes a robot understand students' requirements and helps it behave in a way that uh, encourages learning. With a uh, robot, kids can practice language without fear of making mistakes. Robot is uh, easy to approach. Robot is, is uh, neutral. It doesn't laugh if you make mistakes and it's, it's always, it, uh, it doesn't get uh, tired of repeating words. The new curriculum, the main idea is to get the kids involved and get them motivated and get them, you know, make them active. And I see Elias as one of the tools to you know, get different kind of, of practice and different kind of activities into the classroom. So in that sense, I think robots and coding the robots and working with them is definitely um, something that is according to the new curriculum and something that we teachers need to be open-minded about. I would like to say that it's it's totally new super thing what we have done, but actually it isn't that way. Even nobody has done it. It's more like that we put uh, small things together, put together the way that uh, nobody else hasn't done. And at the same time, it's the right time to do that. Because in, in five different uh, lines on technology allow to do that.